Good morning, Calvary. So glad to have you here this morning. You know, as we continue looking at the book of Proverbs, this book of wisdom from God's Word, let me encourage you to not just watch here each day, but to make it a normal rhythm of your life, reading and consuming the book of Proverbs. And one of my favorite re ways to, to read and process the book of Proverbs is to simply read one chapter a day. There's 31 chapters, and so whatever date it is, you just read that chapter. And it's easy to remember where you're at and to, to also to, to pace your way along through the book. And as you read, let me encourage you to, to look for one or two verses that really stand out to you and hold on to those and process them throughout the day. And then next month, start back again at chapter one and, and work through the entire book again and look for a new verse in each chapter to, to, to grab and digest and hold on to. And, and today I have one verse for you from, from chapter three. I know it's a little ahead of where you would be at if you were doing this, but we're in chapter three as we look through this. And I've got one verse for you to kind of process and think on today. See, Proverbs 3, 27 says, Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to do it. Now, when I read this, I'm immediately convicted of every time I've been shallow and petty and tried to get back at people for not helping them or doing things when I had the opportunity. I don't know if you're the same way or not, but it's far too easy to see the good that we could do in people's lives and to withhold that and not take action. And this is a big deal to God. We're instructed to not do it here, but not just that. We're told in James 4, 17, that if we know the right thing to do and we don't do it, that that's actually sin. See, we often think that sin is just us doing something bad. But sin is actually defined as missing the mark of God's plan for our life. And most often we focus on the negative of that because those forms and types of sin are often the most destructive and harmful for us and others. But you can also miss the mark when you know the good that you're supposed to do and you don't do it. So my question to you today is what is the good thing that you should do and aren't currently doing? Is it something that you've been putting off or ignoring that you know you should do? And I'm not talking about getting your car washed or your oil changed, but I'm talking about the, the bigger things, the bigger impact items. Maybe there's a conversation that you need to have, an apology you need to issue, a, a kind gesture you need to extend to someone, an act of service you need to prioritize. There's a good chance that even as I'm saying those things, there's something that comes to mind. So let me encourage you to take action on it today before the end of the day. Then, as opportunities arise today or even the rest of this week, let me encourage you to lean into those opportunities to say yes to helping people. See, we often default to a no answer because it's easier and it doesn't disrupt our schedule and our course of events. But remember to do good to those around you as you have opportunity today so that you can better reflect the love and character of Christ to those around you. Hope that this is an encouragement to you and hope that you pursue doing good as you have opportunity. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.